In part two of Density Lab, we want to identify objects based on their density. To do that, we need to measure mass and volume. Density is mass divided by volume. The objects we want to identify are a brown cylinder, a gold cylinder, and a silver cylinder. But first, we have to get the mass using the scale. Here's the mass of the brown cylinder. Here's the mass of the gold cylinder. And here's the mass of the silver cylinder. Record those three masses on your data table. There's a column for mass. Be sure to write your unit, grams. To find the volume, we first need to pick the best graduated cylinder. The object fits in all three. We just need to find the one that is the most accurate. This graduated cylinder, to go up 60 to 80 milliliters, there are 10 lines. So each line is worth 2 milliliters. This graduated cylinder, to go up from 20 to 30, has 10 lines. So each line is worth 1 milliliter. And this graduated cylinder, to go up from 9 to 10, there are 2 lines. So each line is worth half a milliliter. This one is the most accurate one. To find the volume, we need to put some water into this graduated cylinder. We want to find the first volume. You can see that the volume is 3 milliliters. Place this on your data table under first volume. Very carefully, place the object into the graduated cylinder without spilling any water. Then take your second volume. We can see that the second volume is 9.5 milliliters. Put that on your data table. The volume of the object is the second volume minus the first volume. Don't forget your unit, milliliters. We can now repeat the process for the gold cylinder and the silver cylinder. The first volume is 3 milliliters. The second volume is 9.5 milliliters. The first volume is 3 milliliters. The second volume is 9.5 milliliters. Density is mass divided by volume. So take the mass you worked out and the volume worked out and divide them. Don't forget the unit, grams per milliliter. Knowing the density, use the information to figure out the identity of the unknown cylinders.